This is in Kenya, Africa, and I just thought this was kind of strange because it almost looks like it's man-made, but I think it might be a crater. But it's just kind of unusual because you have all plants around here and they're living and then everything around here is mostly dead. Or it's like desert plants and this looks like non-desert plants. And it almost looks like you got like a little walkway through here or something. But here's the topography around here. And it looks, this little circle thing, it's like almost too perfect to be true. And around here, there's like nothing like that at all. See where my cursor is? Still right there, that circle. Very strange. Hello. I'm Anthony Russo doing a video on strange things that I found on Google Maps. You're going to want to watch this one. So I found a bunch of faces and some strange figures. So here's the United States of America. It is very strange that I found so many here. Okay. I'm going to point them out to you. Okay. First, I found a whole bunch of stuff over here on this side. So this whole thing is like a tiki head or Easter Island head. Then you kind of have, if you just do this area, it looks like the face of a Sasquatch, right? Then here it looks like a race car driver with a helmet on or a go-kart racer or just something strange there. But then when you look at the whole image together, if this is the nose, this is an eye, and that's an eye, then it's like the Easter Island head around here. Then there's like an Indian head right here, which is easier to see when I zoom out, which I will in a minute. Then here, you can't deny that that looks like a head. It actually looks like a whole body from here all the way down to here. Then it looks like there's a, almost like a dog. Okay, right here. Then beneath this dog, it almost looks like, almost like a 1800s person holding up their hand with a cat. And I'll show that to you in a moment in more detail. Then, over here, it looks like there's a face of what I'd call the Eastern or Southern Sasquatch. Then below it is a face that looks like it has a very wide mouth. And I'll show that to you in detail in a moment as well. Then over here you have this strange creature with a tail, eagle-like claws, humanoid. There's a leg. You can see the hand and the arms right there, almost very proportionate to a normal human, but with animal traits. And the face right here looks very distinctly like a griffin or a hawk. And it looks like it has some little ears right here. Okay. And then there's like a really tiny face right here. Very strange. It almost pops out a little bit. And there's also a face up over here, which I'll show you in detail. And did I forget to show you anything? Well, let's find out. So, what I did is I highlighted in the squares. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see now, but, okay, so the tiki head, it's a little bit off, kind of at an angle. Okay, then you have the race car driver, then you have the western Sasquatch, then you have the Indian head. Okay. Then you have this guy. Let me see if I can...
trying to focus my camera here and it doesn't want to focus. All right, there we go. So you can see like a head, an ear, a nose, face, and a whole body, almost like it's wearing some kind of garment. And this goes through a couple states. So that's kind of odd. Then you have the dog, like I said. Then you have the 1800s looking person holding up their hat, which I'm gonna show you in um, Google Maps in just a second here. This is just a screenshot. Then you have what I call the Eastern or Southern Sasquatch face. It's a little faded out, but you can kind of see it there. Then this guy with this very wide jaw and very broad nose, you can see the nostrils very well. They're almost like flared out. Come on, get focused, okay. So right here where my fingernail is, that's one side of the nostril, and the other nostrils on here, then the bridge of the nose, the two eyes, the brow ridge, okay, the mouth. It looks like it has a beard down here, but it's a very wide, um, almost like it's an inflamed jaw or something. Look at that. All right. Oh, I did forget something. Okay. So this one up here, to me, looks like the face of like a raptor, like from Walking with Dinosaurs or something. If you've ever watched that documentary with the raptors in it. Okay, you can see the face, the eye right there. It comes out kind of at a slant. The nose comes around. Actually, the nose comes all the way out to there. It goes past the red rectangle that I did. You can see the teeth. Very sharp looking teeth, very unusual. Okay, then there's this humanoid, griffin-like thing that literally has hands. You can see that. And you can see the arm and the hands are separate from the leg. And it almost looks like it's overlapping the leg, just like on a human, if a human was having its arms down. Okay. And then that very distinct eagle looking like beak at the front. Come on, focus. I can't get this to focus better. It's so annoying. Okay, and then hardly anything. And then there's a tiny little face there. And it seems like it's popping out of Google Maps. Like it's... Oh, man. I want to get this more clear and I can't get it for you. All right, there we go. You can kind of see it a bit better right here, that small one. And then up here... I think that's like around New York. You can see a bit of a face here, a nose, two eyes, and then either an elongated skull or a very tall hairdo. Okay. Now let's go to Google Maps real quick. All right, so here's that 1800s looking like person with the hat and the arm in the air. Okay, holding the hat. Here's the dog. Okay, that's up close. Um, ooh, I just noticed something new now. I never noticed this before. Almost looks like a face there. I didn't even notice that until now. But anyway. Okay, so here's the race car driver. I mean, that looks pretty cool. But then when you zoom out, okay. You can really see, right, there's the, like the Sasquatch face, very distinctive. But then if you do it as a whole, it looks very much like an Easter Island hat. Very unusual. Okay, anyway. So what else did I want to show you? I want to show you, oh, the raptor head. 
right? See if I can get it. Okay, so the raptor head is right here, the raptor head. Check this out. So, you have the mouth, some sharp teeth, an eye right there. Almost like a crest that goes over its head. Okay. That's like the neckline, the bottom jaw is not unusual. Okay, and then there's this thing. Look at how distinctive that beak is. It's got that curved beak just like a hawk or an eagle. But it has that tail. It's just so strange. Focus this in. It's very hard to focus. You can kind of see right here where my cursor is, the bottom lip and the mouth. Nose, two eyes, a head, a face. Very strange. And then the little face that's popping out is like right here. Let's see if I can get that in. So right where my cursor is, is right near the mouth. It almost looks like a circle mouth or if it has its tongue sticking out. And you can see the nose, the eyes, the eyebrow ridge, the forehead. Very unusual. There. See, that's the bottom. The top's right up here. That's the top of the head. It almost looks like a shiny bald head. Very unusual. But I'm not done yet. All right, here's a screenshot of the world. Okay, and some of these things really do pop out, especially that figure right there in the middle. Okay. Even from way out here, so that thick creature again with the beak, that's really easy to be seen really far away. Then the person, now you can kind of see the dog down here, near its side, but if you just look at it, the whole figure of this body that covers, looks like almost like two thirds of the height of the United States of America, you can see that very clearly. Then also this right up here as well is seen very clearly. The one in the smallest box is that Indian head. And then also the Sasquatch head over here is very distinctive way out far away. A lot of the other stuff just kind of blends in a bit more, but these things really do pop out. So look at those and then I'm going to show you. So when it's blank, you can see that these things still really pop out quite a lot. Come on. Especially the Indian head right there. So that's almost like the lower part of the chest and the shoulder and then you have the face. It's kind of turned to the side and you can see the ear with the hair and the rock. Very unusual. This thing just pops out right away. And then the tiki kind of pops out a little bit. But I would say from further away, the Sasquatch face actually looks more distinctive than the whole tiki shape. So that's very unusual. All right, now let's go to Africa. This is Eastern Africa. Okay, the ones in the yellow are ones that might be something. And the ones in the red boxes are definitely something. Okay. Let me explain. So, 
Let's start with this one. This is a tiki with like really razor sharp teeth. Um, looks like it has very good detail on it. You can see the nose, the teeth, the mouth. Like it's almost like it was created like a 3D image. That's the really creepy part. It looks like you could go into its mouth. It has sharp teeth, a nose, an eye, the head. Almost like an Easter Island head, but it looks like it has like either African or Pacific markings. Very, very unusual, especially where it's in the 3D like that. That was really creepy. Okay. This. Okay. So this red box right here. Check this out. A vulture. Okay. The beak, the eye, the head, the neck. And look at how the downward of its feathers go, like that. Now, there's almost a little bit of an optical illusion, almost like it could also be an owl right here. But when you look at it like this, and you can kind of see like the where its claws are like hooked, almost like on a branch, like this looks a lot like a, um, a vulture. Okay, now this big one. This one I thought was so cool when I noticed it because it kind of goes into two countries. It's mostly in Kenya, but the neckline kind of comes down all the way down out to here. Almost like a giraffe neck. And maybe it is supposed to be a giraffe, I don't know. But you look at here, you have the mouth, you have some teeth. You have the nose, you have this elongated snout, kind of like a giraffe, but it might not be a giraffe. An eye here, an eye over here, you can see the bridge of the nose here. And it almost looks like it has two pointy things, or horns on its head, like a giraffe. But it could be a completely different creature altogether, maybe like a dinosaur, or some kind of ancient mammal. Or maybe some creature that lived before the dinosaurs, who knows. But, very, very unusual to see that. Now, this yellow, this one looks like a bit like an owl, but it's a little hard to tell. Now, the one to the left is very easy to tell if that's a penguin. Look at this. The beak, the head, the body. And yes, penguins do live in Africa, just not in that part of Africa. They live right on um, South Africa. But I just thought this looked kind of interesting. This actually looks more like an emperor penguin or a king penguin from Antarctica. But um, there are penguins that do live in the southern tip of Africa. This almost looks like a face, or it could be a face, but it's a little too blurry, okay, to really tell, and that's why I put it in yellow. It's not like this tiki, like you come down here to the tiki, that is really distinctive. You can really tell if there's something strange going on here. It even has, like the tiki even has like sharp teeth, almost like a vampire or something. Look at that. Come on, focus. Say, sharp teeth, or at least one sharp tooth here, like another sharp tooth way over here, like a vampire. Then over here, this one, it's a little hard to tell if it is a face or not. So I made that one questionable. Now this face is interesting, because it almost looks like an African face, has like the wide lips, nose, eye and around with a strange pointy ear and I'm not saying that the uh, Africans have pointy ears but the face looks like it's African you know this almost looks like um 
You know those things that people, some people put on their heads with the cat ears? That's kind of what it reminded me of. Some would say, like, devil horns, but it doesn't really look like horns. It looks like ears to me, but I'll let you guys interpret that as however you like. But the face, though, is definitely that kind of African-looking face, that really distinctive African-looking face. Maybe of like a king of Africa or something. You never know. But it's just very interesting. Uh, where do I, Oh, over here. Up here? At the top. This almost looks like one of those Sumerian paintings. Like uh, some guy with like a crossbow... Or some guy strangling a crocodile or a lizard. And I am aware of um, crocodile cults out in um, the northern African region where they literally worship the crocodile. But uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if that's like a bow and arrow or if he's strangling a snake or a lizard or a crocodile or something. It's just weird because it looks a lot like a um like a Sumerian text or something. Like a hieroglyph. And then maybe this could be something too, but that doesn't really look like anything that I notice, but maybe you might notice something here. Uh, to me, this just looks like a guy strangling a crocodile or something. Or it might be upside down, right? Like this could be a foot, this could be another foot, this could be an arm, that's the arm, and maybe the green thing is supposed to be the head. Let me see, I'm gonna rotate my Cell phone camera, I don't know if it'll work to show up like that on um, the thing. Now I've completely lost it. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. Well, let's see how that comes out. Thank you for watching. This was strange stuff that I found on um, Google Maps. I'm Anthony Russo. Have a great day. Bye.